What happened? I don't know. Why are we beside the highway? Whew, I feel so bouncy, do you? Joe, how'd you lose weight? I don't know. My gut's gone. How'd that happen? Oh, Joe, look. Oh, honey, that's a bad accident. Oh, those poor people. Oh, I doubt they made it. Well, nobody's come to help them yet. Oh. I mean, shouldn't we? This could be our big moment. All right, I don't know if I remember CPR, but... Oh, my word. That is our big moment. <laughs> Joe, that's us. That means that we're... Dead. That puts a new spin on things. How did this happen? Well, doesn't really matter now, does it? What? Are you blaming this on me? Honey, I blame the laws of physics. And like I said, doesn't really matter now. Well, if you hadn't been bickering at me... You're right. I shouldn't have raised my voice, because in the end... What does it matter who forgot to pick up the dog food? Right. But I do apologize for driving into a parked truck. I forgive you. That's a lot easier to say all of a sudden. <laughs> and at least we made it. Made it where? Till death do us part. Where are you going? Uh, well, up, I hope. I wasn't planning on dying today. I left the sprinkler on. Oh, we need to call the grandkids and tell them we're not going to be able to... Joe, we've lived our lives. You're right. We have. Do you think we did it right? What? You worried you're not going to get into heaven? No, saved by grace. No, I know that. No, I'm talking about us. How do you think we did? And, and I need to know, so tell me the truth. I think we came a long way from where we started. <laughs> Joe, you eat one more piece of that mm. groom's cake, you're going to be sick. Oh, come on. It is so good. <laughs> come on. Have another bite. No, I've already had two. Mm. <laughs> Can you believe we just got married? No. Do I have chocolate on my face now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Marriage? I wonder oh. what it's going to be like. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> We're going to have sex every day. <laughs> You're going to make me these amazing whoa, meals. Whoa. Sex every day? Are you serious? I was till you just said that. <laughs> you know, I meant everything I said in those vows, but I don't remember that being one of the categories. I love you. And you want to know what? what? I am never going to stop seeing you. No. Why would you say that? Because my parents split up. I don't know. It's like they stopped seeing each other. That is never going to happen with us. Well, of course not. Because we really love each other. Right. So it's all going to work itself out. Right. And that never happened. Oh. <laughs> Things got hard. Fast. Yes. Congratulations, Miss Fredericks. You're pregnant. Wow, that was quick. Honey, what do you want for Christmas? Mm, I want you to surprise me, but make sure it's a surprise I like. Congratulations, Miss Fredericks. It's a baby girl. Joe, could you stay with Megan this morning? I've got to run into work for a meeting. I have a job, too. Yeah, but mine earns more. Wow, really? You just said that. <laughs> Honey, we've got to go to my parents for Christmas this year. Congratulations, Miss Fredericks. It's a baby boy. Joe, I'm not sure if this falls under love, honor, or cherish, but could you clean the baby vomit out of the car seat? I'm just saying that's not how my mom made lasagna, and hers was good. <laughs> Joe, Joe, I'm at the emergency room. Dylan jumped off the swings. He has a concussion. When did I become a Cub Scout leader and a swim coach? Like, who am I anymore? Honey, honey, I'm so sorry, but your mom just called. Your dad just had a heart attack. Congratulations, Miss Fredericks. You're having twins. I'm having twins? Six people in a tent in the rain, and we all just had beans? It's <laughs> going to be a great family memory. <laughs> See, that's what I love about you. You always see the bright side. Honey, I'm at the Gray Eagle with Sam and Taylor. I got it all figured out. I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to become a sports writer. What do you think? 
I think midlife crisis can strike without warning and you should probably come home. We need to save how much for their college? Wait, you just bought a kayak? To what, rot in the garage? What were you thinking? Why you gotta be so controlling? Like, who are you anymore? I just explained this like three times. Why don't you listen to me? Why is it the one thing I didn't do that is the one thing you focus on? You don't even see me anymore. What are you talking about? I see you every day. Joe, I have cancer. What? I'm scared. What do we do? Um, uh, this guy at work named Tom, like, he asked us, do you think we should, I mean, if you felt comfortable... What are you talking about? Church? Church? Hi, uh, my name's Joe. This is my wife, Jeannie. Um, what brings us here... Is I've got cancer, um, breast cancer. Yeah, look, we're not really church people. Oh, no. Uh, but um, we heard about prayer, and so we just came because we're looking for... Yeah, you that know. ...that it could help, and we're looking for... I, <sighs> we don't really know what we're looking for. Hey, Joe, good to see you. You must be Jeannie. I'm Tom. And, and I'm Sarah. <laughs> listen, um, we heard about your situation. Now, see, I had cancer, breast cancer, but I got through it. And so, so we're wondering if maybe we could... Uh, help. I mean, it was hard. I mean, it did a job on our marriage. And, well, there was this wonderful woman in this church we were going to, and she and her husband just... Had they just walked through it with us, and so we were wondering if... We're wondering if maybe we could do the same thing with you, if you wanted. Well, those prayers didn't take. What do you mean they didn't take? I just got a call from the doctor's office. My cancer markers are now through the roof. You're kidding. Maybe God doesn't like us. Honey, God loves us. Remember? That's what Sarah said to you yesterday. Well, it doesn't feel like it. I know, but maybe he's not done yet. Like, I was reading in that scripture book Tom was telling me whoa, about. Whoa, You're reading the Bible? I'm kind of desperate, Jeannie. Anyway, reading that, I realized we don't just need healing. Like, we need Him. We do? Yeah. We do. Look, what can I make for you? I made coffee, the good stuff. You want Ooh, that? No, the chemos. What can I do? I don't know. Read to me. Okay. Uh, this is where I left off yesterday. Surely, um, Israel said, surely the Lord has forsaken us. Oh, great. Surely God has forgotten us. Can a mother forget her nursing infant and have no compassion on the child she has born, though she may forget I will not forget you. See, I have carved your name in the palm of my hands. Just stop there. What? I just need to take that in. Okay. And you read to me every day. I did. I prayed for you too. The most awkward prayers in the world. <laughs> I didn't think they were awkward. I loved them. I think the EMT drivers have figured out we're goners. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't that nice of them to take us out of the car? Oh, they're heading back for the stretchers. Joe! Joe! The doctor's office just called. The, 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 the surgery, the chemo, the prayers. They worked. Right now, the PET scan, there is no sign of it. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Yes? Oh my, we gotta go celebrate. What should we do? Oh, we're gonna go to that Thai place we found. We're gonna get a huge bowl of ice cream and a cup of coffee and we're gonna, you're gonna live. Gee. Wait, shouldn't we invite Tom and Sarah too? I mean, shouldn't they come with us? Yes, yes. Actually, I wanna ask them how we could do the same thing for somebody else. What? Yeah, I want to help somebody else like they helped us. Oh, Joe, we're barely figuring this out for ourselves. We'd figure it out just like they did. I mean, where would we be if Tom and Sarah hadn't had the guts to just show up? 
Yeah. So maybe we could use what we've just been through to help somebody else. Are you talking about cancer? I'm talking about life. Okay. And that was the best decision I think we ever made. Oh, I agree with that. Oh, they're coming back with the stretchers. Oh, Joe, look at you. <laughs> you look so dead. Well, I am. Oh, I just need to be near you one last time. Oh, you just look so gentle and sweet. I love you, honey. Even though I have wanted to wring your neck a number of times, I am so glad we hung in there. You loved me well. Oh, and you helped me put God as the center in all the changes in you. Well, the very heart of you became such a different... Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was having a serious moment there. You could have given me a heart attack. You're already dead. <laughs> well, how about you? I'm, that body... Why aren't you going to say something to me? Why? You're standing right there. I, yes, but I cooked a lot of meals for you in that body, and half those gray hairs belong to you. All right. Well, Jeannie, I, I can't do this. It's morbid. I want to hear this. Jeannie, um, I want to thank you for all you did for me. The thousands of thankless chores and the ways that you believed in me when I couldn't believe in myself. For being beautiful. For having character. I'm just really glad that you're not, you know, dead, dead there. <laughs> was beautiful. You know what I need right now? <laughs> what? Nothing. I got it all. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, there they go. Bye-bye. It was good. Now, I don't think they need to have all those lights going on like that. It's a little much considering. I think it looks festive. Well, it's time to go. Wait, where are you going? Up with you. <laughs> well, now, how does this work? I mean, does he meet us? Are we supposed to go up somewhere? And... I don't know. I've never done this before. <laughs> but you want to know what? What? I'm ready. Me too. <laughs>